Uh, we're excited to be here today uh, to celebrate apprenticeship in British Columbia. With this proclamation of Apprenticeship Week, we're recognizing the dedicated employer, sponsor, and industry mentors in the system in the province. We are going to have significant workforce demands between now and 2025, in fact, up to a million job openings. One of the things that's a priority for all of us, Greg and I and our team, is ensuring that British Columbians get first opportunity to be first in line for the job openings of the future. So I'm very pleased this morning to be here to make a major funding announcement in partnership with the Industry Training Authority. It's a $15 million investment over three years. In the first year, we'll spend $7.5 million, with the second 75 dollars spread over a two-year period. We've also added an additional $7.8 million over three years to the industry training budget to actually implement the new stream of programs. Approximately 123,000 career trades opportunities are expected by 2025. That's why we're committed to ensuring that British Columbians are getting the right training in the classroom as well as in the workplace. Thanks to the BC government's uh, additional $7.8 million to support those programs over the next three years, ITA is able to provide that necessary support to both students and educators, parents and industry to get kids on the path to a successful career in the trades. This is an incredibly important investment and a critical part of our youth trades training plan that maps a clear pathway for our young people from school to apprenticeship to the workforce. I love that there's a whole week that's dedicated to apprenticeship recognition because these programs are so important. By recognizing tradespeople, we honor the dedication these students have to their craft and their commitment to industry.